It's pretty much just training like a boxer and just, you know, looking at the tapes and doing runs and see what works for me and what doesn't. My first contest was in 1998. I used to go to my um, local Nathan's in Oceanside and I saw this picture in the window, a poster, of Uncle Sam with a Frank in his hand saying, I want you to enter the hot dog eating contest. I went to the manager and I'm like, when, when is this going on? And he says, well, just come back on June 21st, Saturday, I talked to a man named George Shea. So I did that. George put me right in the middle, center of the table. And uh, without no training, no nothing, just a big appetite and a little bit of will, I ate 17 hot dogs and buns in 12 minutes to qualify for the big show. It was no real prize money back then. It was basically all I got was a nice size trophy, a spot at Coney Allen, and 480 links of Nathan's hot dogs. I said, wow, if I can do this every year and get free Nathan's hot dogs, it would be a good deal. As you can see, a lot has happened in 20 years. I have a few eating records. The ones that are still stand, I'm the corned beef hash eating champion. I ate four pounds of corned beef hash in one minute, 58 seconds. I'm the Ben's matzo ball eating champ, 21 baseball sized matzo balls in five and a half minutes. I'm also the green pea eating champion, nine pounds of green peas in eight minutes. Former American hot dog eating champ, uh, 25 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Former buffalo wing eating champ, 191 buffalo wings in 12 minutes. This is the matzo ball eating contest, you know, where I won that. This right here is the Buffalo Wing Fest. Eric and I have been married uh, 27 and a half years. My family loves it. They love the fact that, you know, I'm getting recognition for something that I love to do. We met at work at a telecommunications company. He was in love with me at first sight. He followed me and chased me around until I finally gave him a date. We have three kids all together. We each had one separately and then one together. I wasn't eating competitively when I met my wife. I absolutely do bug him about retiring because he's getting a little older and there are health concerns along with eating excessively. My day job is a subway conductor for the New York City Transit Authority. I've been doing that since 92, so 26 years. My music is pretty much competitive eating themed East Coast hip hop. They say rap is what you do, hip hop's what you live. So I just tell my story. Always been rapping since I was like a kid in high school and stuff. I started making tapes and shopping them during the 90s. I love Eric's music. Eric is the best musician ever. He's very creative. That's one of the things that attracted me to him. 12 o'clock on a Saturday. We're here for that G-Y-O-Z-A. We're here for that G-Y-O-Z-A. I sell my music everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. Come on, baby. I do a lot of cardio because it's best to have a lot of stamina when you're in an eating competition. Even though it doesn't look like you're doing a lot, there's a lot going on from you moving and trying to swallow and all the digestion that goes on inside your stomach. It's a lot going on internally. The most in pounds I ever ate, 13 pounds of cabbage once. My doctor knows that I do eating contests. I get checkups very frequently, you know, he checks all my vitals and he's like, yeah, you keep doing it, but when you're not eating, just try to eat healthy and get your exercise in. There you go. The gyoza eating contest that's coming up is the World Gyoza Championship. It takes place in Little Tokyo in LA. I think it's a $10,000 purse, and the contest pays like eight ways. I basically feel like I'm a boxer, and I um, study how they do it, see if what they can do can help my game, or if I can do something that's different from what they do. The current dumpling record right now is 384 dumplings in 10 minutes. Uh, I believe it's held by Joey Chestnut. I've never gotten sick in a competition. I, this is cast iron stomach. I think the stomach's made out of vibranium or something. 